worship His majesty Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise Hello! Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel on radio. This Saturday, the ninth day in December, we have called this month our December to remember. So shall it be for you. This will not just be another Saturday, it will be a special Saturday for your satisfaction, for your elevation, for your healthiness, for your lifting, and for good things that will be attracted to you. Say Amen, I receive it. Don't miss this radio broadcast. Every day we are on this radio station, as well as several other radio stations across the city and across the state. For your sake, receive it. Let the anointing build up. Let the wisdom build up. Let the order build up. The grace of God upon this commission release to our generation. Let it build up in you. We always start with a confession. Faith is a confession. It's a law. It's a divine law. Whatever you want to possess, you start to confess. Whatever you want to see, you start to say. It's a law. Don't miss it. Take this confession with us as much as you can where you are. If you cannot be as loud as we are, be as loud as you can, and you will see this confession becoming your possession. Take the confession with us. Say with me, my dear Heavenly Father, I have come before you today to celebrate you, to say I am grateful. By your grace of my life, I will touch new things. I will reach new heights. I will think new thoughts. I will see new miracles, new resources, new connection, new anointing. These are my portion. I claim them today. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. To the corners of the whole world. All that belongs to me. Head for my place now. You said I will not walk for another man to eat. Everything about me. Whatever belongs to me. My family. My children. My business. My calling. Hanging anywhere. By your divine power. I take them over now. This is my take back month. This is my take back month. I take back what belongs to me, which the enemy has stolen. I take back my good health. I take back my peace of mind. I take back my progress. I take back help and assistance. I take my money. I take my position back. I take my property back. Everything that belongs to me held up somewhere. Escape and come to me now. In the name of Jesus. Some people must help me. So I prophesy. My helpers all over the world. My benefactors. My mentors. Arise. Look for me. Locate me. Oh Lord. Put me in good people's mind. To remember and to bless me. By today's encounter, I change level from tears to laughter, from small to big, from minor to major, from lack to abundance, from abundance to more abundance. In the name of Jesus, I believe it, I confess it, I receive it. In Jesus' name. Wow. You will not just be making confession. You will be living in the realities of them. Things will be changing, rapidly changing, and moving up for you. We move from faith confession to sharing the word. The word of God is power. The word of God is food to our souls. Psalm 107 verse 20. He sent his word. He healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Your healing word is coming. Your deliverance word is coming. And your empowerment word is coming. Do your jottings as much as you can, because not only should you listen to these insightful teachings, you should go over them again in your jottings and pray God for the grace to apply them. The word of God is an applied book. Until you apply it, 
it doesn't work so take note and apply them we have been talking about change lately i've been talking about changing level how god changed my level how god changed other people's level how god will change your level i want us to use abraham and sarah as the object of teaching this morning and that is in genesis 17 verse 15 write it down if you can genesis chapter 17 verse 15 and god said unto abraham as for sarai your wife thou shalt not call her sarai but sarah shall be her name a change in name that brought isaac certain things god will ask you to change divine instruction divine instruction change sarai's name to sarah sarai means beautiful woman what is the importance of or the virtue of a beautiful woman that is barren a beautiful woman that has no fruit god said change her name from sarai to sarah sarah means mother of nation mother of multitude listen what you call your things is what god will call it as we keep saying here he said that which i hear you say that will i do that is why we take you through this route of confession calling the things you want god to do for you change her name from sarai beautiful woman to sarah mother of multitude numbers 14 28 god said that which i hear you say that will i do is a law a change is needed if you are going to see a new thing change is needed every one of you listening to me pray and say god give me grace to change where change is called for he changed sarah's name from sarai to sarah isaac was born now find something to change in your own life your attitude your character your business your platform your ministry your product your program i can go on and on ask god for grace to be able to turn some things around what some people need to change for their whole life to change is attitudinal change changing their attitude changing their characters even if things are working for you things can work better if you change certain things don't stay there complaining no one listen to complainers do something about yourself i always say to the people in our church if you don't like yourself the way you are do something about it if you are working and things are not changing change some things you are working things are not working change some things it is only a fool that will keep doing the same thing the same way and expecting a different result no if you are working and things are not working then make a change in mark chapter 4 verse 35 jesus said to his disciples let's change let's cross over to the other side ah and so they pass over and things happen so let things change ask god for what is calling for change we will pray oh god let what is calling for change in my life give me grace to change them and that's what we are coming for in church tomorrow i'll be inviting you all my listeners come tomorrow things will change i will be inviting you to the world lifting conference also shiloh 23 2023 starting this monday monday december 11. these are all opportunity to make the needed change yes these are the opportunity to make the needed change and see the power of god begin to work in our life grace to see opportunity and seize it grace is a connector so we are going to be prophesying this man of god ministers of god you are working ministry is not changing something is wrong my life is working my marriage is working my health is working my financial life is working why should your own not work now if your own is not working and some other people else's are working they surely know what you don't know they are doing what you don't do proverbs 6 verse 6 go to the hand to his sluggard learn his ways and be wise so we are inviting you to come and learn how things work and if they are working how to make it work better how to live a happier more fulfilling life how to people will feel your impact how to do what god sent you to do and then carry your children your home your family your business your career your calling everything that is important to you god is interested in you god wants things to change for you but you must take step remember what i have said continuously 
for every god's given opportunity there is a human responsibility god will not do all things for you no what he has given you power to do for yourself he will not do it for you but if you don't know those things he says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge we are calling you into knowledge we are calling you into wisdom we are calling you into knowing what you ought to do to change for life to change for you i will build more on this tomorrow but there must be a change of level somebody say with me in the name of jesus my level will change oh lord my god touch me for the change of season and the change in level in my finances in my health in my marriage in my career with my children take me to my new level pray that way lord take me to my new level there's a new level ahead of you there's a throne before you take me to my throne take me to my new level take me to my throne take me to my new level receive the enabling grace to fulfill that in jesus name say amen 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 from word ministration we go to testimonies listen to what god is doing in the life of people which he will also do in your life god does not love them or love me more than you but we have come into an understanding a knowledge and order that you haven't that's why we are inviting you to do so listen to these testimonies i'm dr nokoya i was here some time ago when i traveled abroad yes so when i came back my uncle said they don't give visa anymore hmm. to people going to the u.s i came here last week i paid my Battle seed. Uh, my battle seed mm. and I said God because of this battle seed yes that was last week Thursday I said please let me get that visa mm. because I'd already applied mm. I thank God I was given five years oh, 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 oh. <laughs> five years where they say they don't give anybody again my name is Tina I'm here to testify to the goodness of God. Yes. I've always had dreams, as in dreams that things will happen, eventually the things will happen even before my parents started. I lost my parents. I've been having that dream from childhood. I will see before it comes. Mm. So, um, my coming to this commission, I thank God. My friend invited me here. Yeah, I know that this is my last yes, place. Yes, my, my, my prayers will be answered here. Yes. So last week, uh, I saw my family. Uh, I saw this dream that's accidents. I just, well, um, inside the bus, we are going to church. My husband, my family, inside the car. We just, we're just coming back from the church. All of a sudden, we hear the sound from the tire. I told my husband just got down. He just went down to fix the tire. I said, God really saved us. Mm. In my own self, I told myself that I saw this thing in the dream and I prayed mm. about it. Mm. I just give God the glory. Oh, the glory. Then secondly, last week, um, I'm doing POS. I started with little money and I thank God God is great, making it coming up. Yes. So I prayed, uh, somebody came. Anytime I close from here, once I get to the shop, people would, even inside the church, people would start yes. calling me. Yes. Even immediately I get to my place of work, people would just come yes. like this. Have so the, there's a Muslim woman near me. She said, ah, Omi ye the man look in church. I said, what that family came in no matter. <laughs> I said, okay, oh, I will give you his free of charge. When I poured it, she just a uh, customer started coming, even my own site. I just Hallelujah. want to give God the glory. Hallelujah. My name is Kingsley Eze. I want to thank God for for what he's doing for me. Yes. Last Thursday, um, while I was here, uh, someone called me that these um, environmental people, they want to, they are locking up my shop. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ah, why would they lock my shop? Would they lock the shop now? Yeah. And I'm still looking for money to um, buy um, Jen because Nepa came to disconnect our lights. So I was kind of heavy inside. I talked to the mommies that were sitting around me. So they said, ah, don't worry. Before you get to your shop, yes. you meet it open. Hmm. So... After the prayers, I came here, I knelt down, yes. I prayed, I sold battle seed That's concerning right. the issue. That's right. So going outside, um, I called the person that called me earlier that was like, are they gone? He said, um, he said yes, that they have left. So someone from here now came to meet me. I came so far now. I need to buy a phone because um, I sell phones and I repair phones too. Mm. So at the end of the day, the, the, day. Pers the person bought phone of 300K from me. Uh -huh. And on Monday, I went to buy my own gen. Yes. Yeah, so and um, 
like they told me when I got to the shop, I met my shop open. Open. And I, and I did not pay a dime. Praise yeah. the Lord. Hallelujah. You will not pay a dime. And what you need will be delivered. My name is Georgia. I'm here to testify to the mercy of God upon mercy my of life. Uh, on the 5th of October, uh, while coming for prayer mountain, mountain. service, um, at the bus stop there, I tried to cross, but there was traffic. Yeah, the traffic light has already stopped them. So the first uh, lane I tried to cross to come over here, the, the, the middle one, there was a truck, you know, the truck high, mm -hmm. it covered me up. I didn't know that the lane, the last lane to cross over to this road, you know, that a vehicle was coming, was coming. with speed. Wow. So as the vehicle was coming, I didn't see it. I tried to cross. Even now that I stepped back, yes. my slippers, everything dropped, the vehicle would have knocked me out wow. of the road. So I'm here today to thank God that I'm alive. Yes. That the covenant of long life yes. is already working in our lives. All covenant of, of long life. God bless you. We will not die before our time. Yeah. Wow, you will not just be hearing other people's testimonies, they will become your realities. If today is your bad day, if you are a December 9 born person, lay your hand on yourself and let me pray. I prophesy divine grace, divine lifting. The rest of your days will be the best of your years. The Lord will furnish you and garnish you with his presence. You will not die before your time. In Jesus' name, say amen, amen, and amen. Yes. It is here. That which you have been announcing is here. Shiloh 2023, World Lifting Conference 2023 is here. Listeners, it is fully here. The hour has come. The hour of your healing, of your blessing, of your lifting, of divine connection, of your expansion, of your increase. Hour of God the visitation with special thing. The annual World Lifting Conference, also known as Shiloh. Note it. Write it down. Prepare yourself. If you are in and around the Bible, you will have been seeing the billboard around town. This is my personal invitation to you and members of your family. Shiloh is once a year. Don't miss it this year. It's going to be from this Monday, December 11, 5 p.m. that evening. That will be the opening section. But from Tuesday, December 12, to Friday, December 15, it shall be three sessions daily, 8 a.m., 12 noon, 5 p.m. Don't miss any. On Saturday, December 16th, and Sunday, December 17th, it will be one single combined service from 8 a.m. to about 11, 11, 30 a.m. Anointed mantles shall be given now to people for praying and doing miracle free. Everyone in attendance shall be anointed. Bring things for me to lay hand upon and prophesy to you. You have listened to the voice and of the caliber of the servants of God coming. Hear them talk to you. Glory to Jesus. Greetings, great people of God. My name is Olari Wajubolaji. Some call me Big B. I'm using this medium to invite you to the World Lifting Conference with our Father, Pastor Femi Manuel, and other anointed men of God. I will be there to minister in music. So many other gospel music ministers will be there. From the 11th of December to the 17th of December, there will be morning sessions, afternoon session, evening sessions. It's going to be an awesome time in the Holy Ghost. Uh, plan, prepare to be there. You don't want to miss this one. Shiloh 2023, the World Lifting Conference here in Ibadan at Dominion City here in Ibadan or your state. Don't forget it's happening from the 11th of December to the 17th of December. I will be there live and I look forward to meeting you there. I pray that God keeps us beyond the date in Jesus' mighty name. And I love to say it in Yoruba. For those who understand Yoruba, Emma leads you. See you there. Hello, wonderful people. My name is Tokwe Alabi. I'm coming to this year's World Lifting Conference, holding at Dominion City, Ibada, together with God's servant, our father, Pastor Femi Emmanuel, and other anointed vessels of God to minister to you by the grace of God. Date is from Monday, December 11th to Sunday, 17th. Morning, it will be morning, afternoon, and evening. Pray and plan to be there invite members of your family tell somebody on your street tell somebody on the other street and tell somebody to tell somebody it shall be great honestly and i'm telling you god will bless you god is set to bless you all in the name of jesus 
Let's meet again at Shiloh this year. Don't miss it. Looking forward to see you there. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yes, I remain yours. Talk by Alabi. And in theory, Hi, I'm Matthew Shimelo, Senior Pastor, KRCC London, England. Taking this time to invite you to join me and Pastor Femi Emmanuel at the great live lifting conference which will be holding in Dominion City in Ibadan. I tell you, it's going to be a great time. Healings will be done, deliverance, miracles, favors will be released, breakthroughs will happen. There will be direct prophetic word for you, your family, individuals, corporately. You must not miss this conference. It's going to be very life-changing from December 11 to the 17th. I'll be there live, ministry, laying hands, praying for people, believing God for the miraculous in your life. I'll see you there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to know that this shall mark the beginning of better things in your life. I'm Pastor David Ibiomi of Salvation Ministries, Port Harcourt. I want to invite every one of you in the battle and beyond to be a part of what God is doing in this year's World Lifting Conference coming up in Dominion City, Baton, from Monday 11th to Sunday 17th of December 2023. We have morning, afternoon, and evening sections, and by God's grace, I'll be there live alongside with other ministers of the gospel to be a blessing to everyone that'll be a part of this year's conference. I'll be ministering alongside with Pastor Femi Emmanuel. Don't just hear from others. Come and be a part and your life will never remain the same. In the name of Jesus, your story must change this year, and you end the year well in Jesus' name. Wow, do you see that? Pastor Matthew Ashimolo from KICC London, Pastor David Ibiomie from Port Harcourt, myself, Evangelist Tokwe Alabi, Big Bolaji, these men carry strong and strange anointing. Come and let them get you imparted. Make a list of your concern all the needs you want God to meet and intervene by faith. Put them in an envelope and bring them. We are going to put them on the altar. Don't miss any day or any of the sessions, Mondays to Sunday. We shall jointly minister to you, lay hand on you, anoint you. Your things will change. Please come and let these ministers bless you. And all ministers in the fivefold ministries, General overseers, apostles, bishop, district pastor, state pastor, assembly pastor, branch pastor, evangelists and teachers. On the Wednesday, Wednesday, December 13, we will have a special ministers conference in the morning from 8 a.m. Come from everywhere. It's interdenominational, it's interracial. Ministers in the fivefold ministry, Pastor Matthew Ashimalo, Pastor David Ibiomi, and myself, we will join hand to minister to you. Iron sharpens iron. Now, telephone numbers to SMS, chat, or call. Because after that morning prayer ministers conference, I like to host all ministers to launch you at my own expense. I just want to have a good time with you. This is the number 0805 802194. 0805 802194. I call it one more time 0805 802194. Send an SMS, send a chat, and say, I'm a minister of the gospel. I like to attend the minister's conference. And then you like to have a luncheon with me. We secure your ticket and your seat. Then tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday. Two services we hold at Dominion City. Please bring your family, bring your children. Let's use Proverbs 22, verse 6 to raise them for you. Bring your teenagers, 8, 13 to 19, and let's give them role model that will model their life. Buses will be a position at Living Spring Chapel, Songo Ibadan, to bring people to the two services, to and fro, also at the popular petrol station, uh, to bring people. Two services tomorrow, 7 to 9 a.m., two hours, then 9 to 11 a.m., two hours. Those of you that are already coming, consistency is key. Come consistently. In working with God, consistency is key. If you are coming in your car, ample car park. I mean, uh, everyone will be so blessed. I will be on hand waiting to receive you tomorrow. It will be at another level. All communities that are not far from Dominion City, I call you out every day, get ready to be there. Let that be your church. So all residents of Timidire Estate, Samba Morayo Hotel area, Olon Tedo Estate, Jacon area, Adoloju community, Iyanobudija, 
Ori of First Street, Alagbaju Quarters, A3 Hotel area, Rainbow area, Kajola Airport, Kajola, at our community, Agbowo Express, Barita Waterside, Ojo, MFM Bus Stop area, Bashorun, Orogun, Major Salawo area, Ashibodija, General Gas, Akobo area, Akalawe, University of Ibadan. All of you, you are not far from Dominion City. Take advantage. Be there tomorrow in any of the two services. What is left for me now is to prophetically bless you. And as I say these things to your life, they will be established and they will work for you. Receive today's prophetic impartation. I prophesy everything you are believing God for shall become your testimonies. Amen. New month, new things, Amen. new testimonies, Amen. new strength, Amen. new favor, Amen. new assistance, Amen. new anointing, Amen. new increases, Amen. new expansion, Amen. new enlargement. Receive divine touch for new. Amen. You are true with this level. You have stayed too long on this level. The power of God is moving you forward. The power of God is connecting you to your new level. I see kings and great people rising up to help you. I see help release. I see divine assistance. I see a ladder and I see you climbing up. You are climbing up. You are climbing up higher and higher above your enemies above your detractors in the name of jesus i prophesy to sickness and diseases leave your victim now receive divine grace in jesus name say another amen, amen. wow you will not just be hearing it it will be manifesting in your life tomorrow is another day i will bring you another message to bless you Femi Manuel is my name. I love you. Expecting you there at the Sunday service tomorrow and at the Shiloh, December 11 to 17. Have a great day. Bye.